Now I'll demonstrate how to perform RLC testing with the Baker DX. To perform RLC testing requires the use of these low voltage um, Calvin resistance leads. And I'll show you how to connect those here. On the bottom on the right, we have the RLC connector and we'll fit that in, screw it down. Okay. And then we'll make, the, we'll make the lead connections here. So these are labeled one, two, and three, and we want to connect them to the motor test leads that are also labeled one, two, and three. Okay. So that's lead one. Making sure we make good conduction on both sides of the clip. And then lead two. And then finally lead three. Okay. okay, so to perform the resistance testing, we'll make sure we select the resistance mode first. If we want to do temperature compensation, we should select the temperature icon, enter the temperature of the winding under test, and then select done. Make sure that we have the right conductor selected. In this case, we are testing a copper winding. And then to commence the test, we'll press the push to test button momentarily and release to initiate the testing. Okay. So from the results, we see uh, the results from each line to line resistance measurement. Uh, the temperature corrected value is given underneath the measured value. Uh, the temperature to which uh, of the winding uh, is also indicated here in the first column. And then from the last column, we have the calculated imbalance, resistive imbalance, in this case, 0.3%, showing that the resistance was very balanced in the circuit. If your DX is equipped with the optional inductance and capacitance testing options, you'll have two additional icons that you can select. Now I'll demonstrate how to perform the inductance measurement by selecting the inductance icon. We have an option to select uh, frequency here. Typically we'll select the nameplate frequency of the device under test. Uh, there are higher frequency options for special cases. In this case, I have a 60 hertz motor. I'm gonna select 60 hertz. Um, still copper winding. Temperature compensation isn't uh, a factor in inductance measurement. So we'll hit the push to test button momentarily to initiate the test. And each line to line inductance measurement, impedance measurement will be displayed. And then finally the unbalance will be calculated on the final column. Now to perform capacitance measurement, select the test mode and then select the capacitance icon. See, it's selected there. Now, uh, capacitance measurement is always conducted at four kilohertz. This is an option. But we have to change the lead configuration for this test. So what we want to do is remove lead three and place it aside. And then take lead two and connect it to the ground, con the frame in this case of the motor. And then we momentarily press we push the test button to initiate the capacitance measurement. And of course your capacitance will be, will be indicated in nanofarads and then um, your, your test is done. Once all the RLC testing is complete, be sure to hit the save icon to save your results. Save to active folder and record. In this case, since I already have my folder and record established, I'll say yes, and the data is saved.